I think it's like a group. I don't know if three, I, I, I think in the alpha it was three. I'm hoping it's four. Yeah. Um, and you go fight bad things together. And then if you all die, though, your progress is lost. You can't all die. <laughs> and then they have explore. So it's like a free roam Go explore the environment. I could see us just goofing off looking at weird things, just walking around. That is what I cannot wait. For some reason, like, I don't care what, where we're going, what we're doing. I just cannot wait to discover this world that Bungie has created with this game. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, I'm a Defiance fan. And I think this is just going to take that type of game to a whole new level, you know. Especially if you can watch the sunset and dance. Yeah, <laughs> oh, we're going to have so many fun videos. I can't wait. I've been posting some of our old like Halo videos on the community section. And people have, <laughs> they've laughed a lot. <laughs> yeah, there's going to be some good times. Yeah. Heading our way with the Destiny beta. So I'm excited. But here's what I'm most excited about. So I was listening to a new pod. Well, it's not a new podcast. It's new to me. It's called Guardian Radio. Uh-huh. And they're, you know, a Destiny podcast. And they were talking uh, today, or it wasn't today. It was actually, it took place on Bungie Day. Oh, happy past Bungie Day, by the way. Um, yeah, y'all. But yeah, they were talking about clans and Destiny. Mm-hmm. And I'm really excited because, okay, I, a long time ago, we had, you know, back before we were Girl Tribe Gaming, people that know us, we were Nick, the Nick NYX girls. Yep. And we had a group on Bungie Net set up, but we never really did anything with it. And the other day, I was just goofing around and looked and I was like, oh, maybe I should update that. So I updated it to the Girl Tribe name, Girl Tribe Gaming. And then I found out that what they're going to do is those groups, later on, they're going to allow you to convert them over to clans in the game awesome okay so then they said there's a a different i like this okay so let's say let's say we have girl tribe let's pretend girl tribe was bigger though let's say you know a bigger group and let's say we have a a fact we'll have like a, a a smaller clan right let's say maybe the 360 girls or maybe the one girls or maybe like a team of snipers or and they're like you can have like little clans right well we could have like it's just i'm trying why don't i say this you have the small clans right and then you can like have an alliance with like a bigger overall clan so like so like let's okay let's somebody say on Twitter that we're friends with has a clan that's called I don't know amazing clan okay we so be friends with the amazing clan yeah like okay so alliance like, yeah like let's say okay we have our girl tribe gaming and then the amazing the amazing guys <laughs> right they're like yeah, hey we yeah. really like girl tribe we want to like pledge our allegiance to them and then they could be in alliance with us yeah like a front burner had a clan. I like think front burner. Yeah, they need a clan, yeah, and we can they, be in those alliance. guys need to have a clan, and we can be friends. <laughs> I know. I, I could just see like all these different gaming communities that we know, like Rectify Gaming, and all these different people. I could see like having like some sort of alliance together or something. All right, that's. Uh, I just can't wait. Everything. Yeah, it just makes me like go cuckoo. Cuckoo. <laughs> yeah, I just thought it was really neat. I, I have no idea exactly how it works, though. Like, if you if you're an alliance, like I I just don't I don't know how exactly they do it. But like I know like uh, the, for an example of how it might work, the guys on the podcast for um, Guardian Radio. Mm-hmm. So like the the hosts of the podcast each started their own clan. Well, which is like a group on Bungie. And they're like, okay, I have my people, my people, my people. And then we're all aligned with, and they have their big group of, you know, the Guardian Radio. So they have like a thou- over a thousand members, but they have like separate. So I don't know if it like all funnels up or if it's like you're just aligned with them. I'm not quite sure. Well, I want to be on their team too then. That's for sure. 
Yeah, I can't wait. And and speaking of pre-orders, are you going to get a physical disc or are you going to do digital? I most of my games now I've been wanting to do digital. Mm. But this this is a game for some reason. You want the loot? I think I want the collector's edition. Okay, did you look at did you see there's more than one? The one that I saw had like the little um orange square looking thing that's from the game i can't even think it like floats he i want to oh, use halo terms i know it's, it's not, like the it's like i don't know the, what um, it is but it <laughs> i know what you're talking about I, it would make a great paperweight it is probably a hundred dollar paperweight but i want it well um one thing that the guys on that podcast recommended was to really look at your pre-orders and they suggested um if you're in the u.s to go to gamestop because they have some uh, pre-order bonuses that will help, like, fill the gaps for, like, different versions. I guess, like, if you get one version, some of the stuff in that version, you know, isn't in another version. But it's a pre-order mm. bonus so that you can still get that stuff. And they said if you're out of the U.S., you might try game. So, just a tip. I'm going digital. So I am still debating because, like, I... I might go digital to digital with this game mm-hmm. and then go disc with the Halo collector, the, the Master Chief collection mm. for Halo. So it's still up in the air. We'll see. Yeah. And how much it costs. Like, that's pretty, I mean, it's, it gets to be expensive to do a, a collector's edition. So, yeah. And I don't know if Halo has any special collector's edition. And if that, if it I does, was wondering that I too. might get, I, I would, depending on what's in it, my gut says I will want that. Yeah, I have my Master Chief in the living room. The helmet from... <laughs> do you have that? I, no, <gasps> you can't wear it. Well, I know, so, but do you have it? I don't, I'm not going to no. wear it. I just have it up for this... Why? What would I wear it to? Oh. Really? You would wear it when Packs? you're in Halo. Why create a Master Chief helmet that you can't wear? And it's like it's like a life size where I, know, I want to wear it. I'm kind of glad I can't wear it. You know, my head's so small. I might yeah, be able to wear, wear it. a little baby. I sh- Master Chief. I could probably wear it. I bet I, I should try it on. Okay, that's your mission. Uh, it doesn't even have a place to put your head in, though. I mean, oh, it doesn't. I don't remember. No, it's, it's been a while. Is I mean, it like yeah, solid? Yeah, go for it, girl. You try it. And I don't remember. I haven't picked goes. it up in a while. It's sitting up on a shelf. But if it, has, if it has something like that, even if I can't wear it, I will probably buy it. I think I heard that there was a pre-order bonus for the Master Chief collection that has like an infinite um, ammo skull. I think that's what it was. I want something shiny that I can look at. Yeah. (laughs) Is there a season pass? Are you you getting a season pass? Have you announced a season pass for Destiny? Yeah. So with the digital version that I'm getting, it's going to come with the season pass. Um, I think it was ninety dollars, but mm-hmm. what I Ooh. like, yeah, I, what I like about the season pass. Okay, how many games lately have come out and they want you to get the season pass, but they don't tell you what you're really going to get with the season pass? Pretty much all of them. Yeah, I mean, I got burned with this uh, with Defiance. I'm not gonna lie. I got really. I was not happy with what they did with that. I felt like it was just kind of a ripoff. But yeah. with with Destiny, I mean, they're telling you. Um, they say here. Let me pull it up. They said that you're gonna get you know new story missions. You're gonna get cooperative activities. You're gonna get competitive multiplayer arenas. And all new weapons, armor, and gear. And then they go on, I won't read it all, but they talk about Expansion 1, 2, and they give you titles and like a little like a little bit about what it is. That's all. I mean, They're, they've that's really got I love this planned Bungie. out. Yeah. Bungie is just awesome. Now, my concern was, are they going to do a buttload of microtransactions? Because they are under Activision, and as you know from Call of Duty, with all these skins and everything, I don't mind that though. I mean, I think, I think Ghost is doing microtransactions right. If you want it, you can have it. It's not going to make you any better of a player. It's just going to make you look good. <laughs> 
Well, what I what they end up saying was that all the gear and stuff you're pretty much going to have to earn. You uh-huh. you your armor and your weapons are going to kind of tell a story about like what you've done, what you've accomplished and who you are. So you might walk up to someone and know like, "Oh wow, they have that." Wow, they play a lot of competitive multiplayer. But See, that's that's cool. I would be happy if they had like extra things you could buy, like extra inventory slots, things like that. I'd yeah. be definitely fine with. Um, I don't know. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't wait, and and it's so close to being able to where we can jump into this world, and I just hope that we can talk about it on the podcast and still be so excited about this game. Which yeah, and during the ba- be. yeah what. I think we will be able to be super excited still. I think so. I'm I'm really looking forward to it. And during the beta, I'm going to stream some. And I hope you guys stop by and talk to me a little bit. <laughs> and I'm just going to give a warning now. The very first day I stream, <laughs> I'm probably going to spend a lot of time customizing my character. I always do. <laughs> yeah. I bet two hours just trying to figure out your hairstyle and your clothes. No, not that long. Maybe just one Okay, hour. an hour. Yeah. But yeah, I'll, <laughs> I'll be tweeting out uh, when I stream and stuff. So I hope you guys stop by and, and everything. <laughs> you, so... We're speaking of being all super excited about something, uh-huh. which makes me think of your your synth controller. I knew right where you were going to go. Uh huh. Uh huh. You were so excited about this. I was. Right, weeks. It seems like three weeks. You were texting me like, "It's in this stage. It's being developed. It's now born. It's on its way." <laughs> it's born. <laughs> I have it. I have it. It feels amazing. Yeah, I called yeah, you exactly. hysterical. I love this controller. Until bam, boom. So I had played it and I liked it. Then I like decided, I'm like, okay, all right, I'm going to be serious and really put this to test, you know. And I sat down to play some Call of Duty. Uh, here's what I found out. The sound, the audio. I, so I use the uh, Turtle Beach. I use the Turtle Beach Atlas, which is the Titanfall. Um, and Supergirl, she had you know also gotten a cinch controller and she uses the Turtle Beach X07s. So just to give you that. What was happening to both of us was that when we play the audio, the game audio, and the chat audio, boom, cut out. And did, that happen, did it happen only in Ghost, or did it happen in other games? Well, I didn't try it anything. What other games can you use it for? Oh, true. I guess Titanfall. But so yeah. um, the only thing that would fix it, you know, is to unplug the headset adapter, plug it back in. So what's the logical thing? Ooh, maybe the, I thought... Maybe that headset adapter is kind of like loose from using it on my other controller. I'll go buy another one. So I went and bought another adapter. We both did. Pop, same thing. So we're like, okay, it's not the adapter. You know, we've... So anyhow, long story short, it's kind of a deal breaker. I love the controller. Um, we the, the customer service, I will say, was very good. They were very quick. And they, I mean... You know, Scuff, their customer service was not good. And yeah, these, that's, you very, dealt with, you were on like, you didn't hear anything back from Scuff for like a week. Oh, I know. I was so mad. And um, they were real fast and they were even answering on the evenings and in the weekend. And they they tried to help troubleshoot, but it seemed almost like, I don't know. I think they thought we were dumb, but <laughs> they were nice. <laughs> they were polite and they were quick. But it just wasn't going to work. Looking back, I think I might know what the issue was. We left the rumbles in. And, you know, most pro players, they take those out. But we just yeah. left them in. We're not pro, you know. But we did want the convenience of the underneath buttons and the trigger stops. I think when the game, because it was intermittent. You never knew when it was going to happen. And I'm more of a running gun. And it was happening to me more. I think when the rumbles activated... It was like maybe missing the connection a little with the headset adapter. That that would make sense. Now that's interesting. No, yeah, because too bad. I think that test, sh- didn't think of that when you had it, so you could test it, like when you're shooting or getting shot. I know. Or something. I thought yeah. it after it was already shipped and on its way back. But you know, you were asking me, you're like, is it painted or is it molded plastic? I still think it's molded plastic. It does not seem painted at all. So I. Mm. 
I think maybe that, you know, shell was just slightly different sized 